when a woman is pregnant especially immediately after finding out she's pregnant the first thing she worries about is hope i've not been doing something to jeopardize this pregnancy hope i've not been eating the wrong things wearing the wrong clothes going in the wrong places today we're touching on foods that pregnant women should avoid to make sure that they are safe and that their babies are born healthy without defects without any issues and that the pregnancy is uncomplicated this is the purpose of this video i am not a nutritionist or a doctor so make sure that you always get advice from your primary health care provider, your doctor, your nurses. This video is just to serve as a guide on things you should avoid while you're pregnant. One of the first things I was advised to stop eating or consuming when I got pregnant was anything that has caffeine. I really like coffee. Researchers have noted that caffeine is believed to cause blood vessels in the uterus and in the placenta to constrict and this can reduce the blood supply to the fetus and inhibit growth. If you cannot totally cut it out, then you are limited to about a cup a day, like a small cup of coffee a day. You can check online to see the amount of coffee that you are allowed to have. You also want to be careful with liver or liver products. Liver contains very high levels of retinol, which is a type of vitamin A. Too much of it can be harmful for your baby. Also, don't take supplements made from liver, such as cod liver oil, when you're pregnant. The next thing I want to touch on is alcohol. No level of alcohol is safe during your pregnancy. Drinking alcohol can increase the risk of miscarriage, premature birth, and your baby having a low birth weight. It can also affect your baby after your baby is born. A lot of people take herbal teas, but if you are pregnant, you need to stay away from herbal teas because you don't know what the combination of the herbal tea you are drinking is going to do to your pregnancy. Always make sure you consult your doctor for any kind of food you are taking, especially these herbal teas. Another thing is raw meat. Some people like meat that they call rare meat, meat that sometimes is not fully cooked and then on the other side of the spectrum we have things like barbecue and suya if you are not the one making your suya yourself you need to jump and pass i take a lot of pepper soup and one of the things i was told to avoid taking during my pregnancy was pepper soup because it can cause your womb to contract and it makes sense because after I had my baby, I was giving pepper soup to drink so that my womb can contract and like all the blood can be expelled. So this makes sense that you should not drink it while you're pregnant, rather for your postpartum care. One fruit I would like to talk about is a pineapple. A pineapple is a tropical fruit. It offers numerous health benefits. It's a rich source of vitamin C and dietary fiber. It also contains an enzyme called bromelain. This particular enzyme aids digestion and also has anti-inflammatory properties but you know despite the nutritional value some people believe that pineapples should be completely avoided due to potential risks when i was pregnant that was one of the first things i was told because for some reason i was craving so much pineapple and i was told to stay clear of pineapples because it can cause uterine contractions it can potentially lead to miscarriage or preterm labor some people argue that the bromelain enzyme that is concentrated in this pineapple is not enough to harm a baby and you have to eat a lot like a massive excessive amount of pineapples for it to affect your baby but i am of the opinion that anything that can potentially you know potentially cause harm to your baby you should definitely stay clear of it's not by force you can skip it once you've had your baby you can go back to eating whatever it is but 
there's no amount of risk I'm willing to take just because of a craving. Another thing to avoid eating are sesame seeds. Um, you can find sesame seeds in many recipes. In Nigeria, we have a sesame seed soup that is so delicious, tastes like a goosey soup. If you don't know sesame seeds, <laughs> see me in the comments. But anyways, you can also find them in burgers and in other kinds of foods. You should stay away because some people say that it raises the body temperature of a woman's body, of a pregnant woman. And some people say it can cause harm to a baby be. However, sesame seeds on their own also have been known to be a salmonella risk and a lot of people advise that you stay away from anything that has um, sesame seeds during your pregnancy. If you're pregnant, you should be also careful of the type of fish you eat during your pregnancy. There are some fishes that have high levels of mercury you need to stay clear from. Try to stay clear of a lot of seafood. Also avoid eating raw fish like let's say some kind of smoked fish or some sushi. You need to stay clear of that because you don't know what it contains. From research, fishes like catfish have been advised to be eaten because it has very low levels of mercury. So if you are craving fish, maybe you should look towards catfish, but you need to do your own research. Some people say they were not affected by the kind of fish they ate during pregnancy, but every woman's body is different and you don't know how you are going to react to some of these foods. If you like purpose, you will need to avoid it during pregnancy because purples contain a type of latex, especially on ripe purples. It can trigger marked uterine contractions leading to early labor, which no pregnant woman wants. It contains papain, which your body may mistake for the prostaglandins. And what this prostaglandins does is that it induces labor. So you do not want to eat that. It can also weaken vital membranes that support the fetus. Purpose are also a common allergen and it can trigger a dangerous reaction in a pregnant woman. Even though ripe purpose can be a beneficial part of nutrition for pregnant women, unripe ones can be very dangerous. Some women continue to eat it during their pregnancy. However, some have decided to eliminate it from their diet till after they give birth because there are other sources of nutrition you can enjoy to have a safe pregnancy. If you are a lover of aloe vera, you definitely need to stay away from it during your pregnancy. Aloe vera contains anthraquinones, it's a strong purgative and they use it as a laxative. It is known to increase the risk of uterine contractions during pregnancy and this can be very very dangerous. It also affects the blood glucose so do not drink it as a juice or anything. If you drink it, it can make you feel lightheaded and you can lose your balance. If you're someone with a history of gestational diabetes, then the side effects of aloe vera can be improper regulation of your blood glucose levels. It can interfere with the existing methods of deregulation and can lead to hypoglycemia. Even breastfeeding mothers are not advised to take aloe vera because they can transfer it to their infants and it can cause diarrhea and vomiting in children. If you're going to eat eggs during your pregnancy, make sure they are fully cooked or pasteurized. Raw or undercooked eggs can carry disease-causing organisms like salmonella bacteria, which can cause food poisoning. You can find this uncooked egg in ice cream, so definitely stay away from ice cream. You can find it in things like mayonnaise. You can also find it in fura, which I know a lot of people love. But if you're pregnant, you need to stay away. Definitely, definitely stay away from those products. Make sure you eat only properly boiled eggs and properly fried eggs. No runny eggs allowed. It is also advisable to be wary of eating lettuce during your pregnancy. Make sure you thoroughly wash it before eating. 
if lettuce is not washed before eating, it may contain parasites or bacteria that can cause dangerous illness like listeriosis and toxoplasmosis. Be sure to rinse like the individual leaves to get rid of also pesticides. So if you are someone that you like vegetable salads, I will advise your pregnancy is not the time to be eating vegetable salads especially vegetable salads that you buy at the supermarket pre-packaged vegetable salads or pre-cut vegetable salads you definitely should stay away this is not everything you should eat or not eat during your pregnancy you should also do some more research but i hope this video was very useful and valuable to you it is always best to consult with a healthcare provider before making any dietary changes during your pregnancy. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific health circumstances and that will ensure the well-being of mother and baby. If you're pregnant, I wish you a successful pregnancy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!